ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 9th of January. James Spann here. Uh, a couple of headlines. Really, the big one is this cold Arctic outbreak uh, late next week, but we're going to see some rain tomorrow. Let's go right to the Skycam shots this afternoon. First off, the view coming from Demopolis. We are watching the river levels rising on the Tom Bigby. And, you know, they better get those RVs out of there. That's an RV park on the uh, Greene County side of the uh, river, not too far from the uh, Demopolis Yacht Basin there. And the crest will probably not come until Monday now as the Weather Service has revised that back, and it'll be about uh, 10 to 12 feet above flood stage there. Uh, Birmingham, nice to see a bright, sunny, blue sky day. What a great day. We started off the day around freezing. We're up uh, in the low 60s today. And there's the Coosa in Gadsden. That level is falling there as the crest is well downstream. Upper airflow is flattened out a little bit, and uh, that trough coming out of the Rockies will bring some rain in here tomorrow. Temperatures, indeed, pretty comfortable across the southern U.S. with uh, 60s uh, in Texas, Oklahoma. But, yeah, up there in the northern fringe of that, you can see the edge of that bitterly cold air mass that's headed this way for late next week. QPF chart, this thing's still suggesting one inch, and I think that's overdone. I'll just uh, agree to disagree with HPC. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. I think the amounts tomorrow will be closer to one quarter to one half inch. Well, let's look at it. Modeling, this is the GFS, the 12Z run. Here comes our trough. Below that, the weather looks wet, uh, beginning to look like the bulk of the rain will come from maybe midday or late morning on through uh, 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And uh, with this very dry continental air in place, uh, we're not going to see a quick moisture return. So, again, that's why we're thinking rainfall amount should be on the light side and certainly no chance of any severe weather. Sunday, that's on by. Cool, dry day. High should be around 50 with the sky becoming sunny. Monday of next week, still seasonal, uh, probably highs in the upper 40s, something like that. But we'll go to Tuesday. Here comes the uh, development of the trough. And you can see those various uh, little uh, ripples in the uh, uh, impulse, uh, impulses in the flow there that will help to sharpen that thing up. In the exact position of those, pretty hard to define, but the solution is still the same. Uh, Wednesday, that's a very cold look. Look at the ridge pumped up over Alaska, tapping the you-know-what air that's been up there. Minus 68 Fahrenheit at one spot, a little place called Chicken, Alaska, yesterday morning. And uh, down below that, uh, a 1,058 millibar high. That's about as high as the pressure gets uh, coming down uh, out of uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan and uh, Alberta. And that's just going to be tough. Uh, we'll go to Thursday. The uh, high is 1,052 millibars. It is near Omaha, feeding cold air in here in the uh, a little snow ice thing is back on the board as uh, the uh, model shows an impulse coming out of the western Gulf for Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. And you'll see it coming and going. Again, I'm just not that interested in run-to-run -run variants here because we're not going to try and forecast this thing until Monday. But just be aware there is some hint of maybe some uh, freezing rain or snow here toward the end of next week. We will promise it will be very cold. Look at the uh, European Thursday. It almost hurts to look at that thing. Uh, 1,044 millibar high near Des Moines. Uh, this is at uh, 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet off the ground. That's minus 25 Celsius up in Wisconsin. And uh, that's tough right there. Very, very cold. And again, that's suggesting highs around freezing and lows in the 10 to 15 degree range at the surface. And then uh, Friday, there's the GFS again. And again, it's a very cold look. And down below that, uh, cold is the word. We will not get out of the 30s if that's right. And the model's not going to understand the depth of the cold air. Uh, so uh, the coldest air so far this season, uh, about six days away. And then on Saturday, the 17th, some moderation showing up. We'll jump out there to the end of the cycle on the 25th. And again, at this point, the North Atlantic Oscillation is flipping positive, and we should begin to see a moderating trend. And the model will struggle with the NAO pattern change, but we're just out there peaking. But the idea is out there toward the end of this month, conditions will likely moderate over the eastern U.S. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Brian Peters will have the video updates tomorrow and Sunday. My next one will be Monday morning by 7 o'clock. So, again, uh, thanks for uh, watching today. Don't forget to catch us on the news this evening. If you're local, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Weather for a